The Franklin child prostitution ring allegations began in June 1988 in Omaha, Nebraska, and attracted significant public and political interest until late 1990, when separate state and federal grand juries concluded that the allegations were unfounded and the ring was a carefully crafted hoax. In 1988, authorities looked into allegations that prominent citizens of Nebraska, as well as high-level U.S. politicians, were involved in a child prostitution ring. Alleged abuse victims were interviewed, who claimed that children in foster care were flown to the east coast of the United States to be sexually abused at bad parties. The claims primarily centered on Lawrence E. King Jr., who ran the now-defunct Franklin Community Federal Credit Union in Omaha, Nebraska, and alleged that the ring was a cult of devil worshippers involved in the mutilation, sacrifice and cannibalism of numerous children. Numerous conspiracy theories evolved, claiming that the alleged abuse was part of a widespread series of crimes including devil worship, cannibalism, drug trafficking, and CIA arms dealing. Historian Philip Jenkins explored how cases such as the Franklin allegations can acquire credibility, even if they lack any credibility inherently, when reported in various media in a credible voice. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you would like to view more of our videos. Have a nice day.